Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make a circuit with a lot of jumping wires. Jumping wires can be used to um, separate all the components of the circuit so that you don't accidentally mess up something and make it a short circuit. So let's start by taking, so for this you will need three short wires, one 220 ohm resistor, and one blue LED. So I'll take the, any color, it doesn't really matter. So I'll take this wire, and then I'll connect, I'll take this jumping wire, and now connect it to P17. See, it's P17. And then I'll take the other side and connect it to P23, okay? Now I'll take my 220 ohm resistor and I'll connect it to P29, okay? And take the other side of it and connect it to J, I'll connect it to J14. And then I'll take another wire and I'll take this and connect it to J16. J16 and put it over here in I32 and take the final wire and connect F F32, F32 to E15. And finally, I'll take my blue LED and take the anode and connect it to A15 and take the cathode, which is the shorter side, and connect it to N, N1 and 115. Why is this light bulb not lighting up, right? Well, after surveying this closely, you can notice that the energy is not being transferred from this 220 ohm resistor to this orange jumping wire because the energy only flows in these rows in this main part. Over here on the sides, energy only flows in the columns. So I'll have to take the end of this jumping wire and connect it, connect it to H13, H13. And now you see my blue LED lights up. If you still have further problems, make sure that each component is secured to the breadboard.